Okay, uh, it started recording. Uh, hopefully they can rejoin. Yep, there, there they are. Okay. All right, so let's go over what we went over last time. The video calling. Oh, someone's not muted. All right, I think that solved it. Oh, he's going good, uh, Ian. All right, so let's talk about what we did last week. All right, what we talked about last week was color theory. We went over warm and cool colors. We talked about complementary colors and how they are on the opposite side of the color wheel. And we also talked about uh, analogous colors and how they are all right next to each other on the color wheel. Okay, right, let me just speed this person, sorry. Right, there we go. Okay, and then after that, we talked about the rainbow, which we learned about in second grade. And that was able to help us fill out this whole entire sheet. Now, the next page that we're going to be working on is facial proportions. Here we go. All right, so if you want to take a blank sheet of paper, you can. Or if you just want to follow along or just watch, you can do that too. I'm going to put this packet right here so you guys can see. And now I'll get a blank sheet of paper. And then I'm going to try to guess what a fourth grade would talk about or fourth grade would see when drawing a, a picture. So if I was a fourth grader and I was doing portraits, I'd probably think that the head's an oval, like always, right? Put the neck down, just like this. And then the first thing I would think to myself is like, oh, the eyes are probably up here. Here's my eye. There you go. And then I'd probably think like uh, the mouth is probably over, let's say, over here probably. I probably think that the nose is probably over here, and then ears like that. Let me fix the chin a little bit, like that. And then I'd probably think that the hairline would be a little bit kind of like this. I'm just gonna do a little practice one. There we go. All right. So that's what I would think a portrait would do. However, in this worksheet right here. It looks like a lot of things are completely off. Let's redo this portrait, and I'll go back to this portrait in a little bit, okay? So what they're saying, yeah, let me just take another piece of blank paper. And then I'm going to redraw the oval again. Just like so. Here's the neck. All right, so let's try to go over what they're trying to say to us here on this packet. All right, they're telling us that the eyes are directly in the middle of the face. Raise your hand if you think that's true. Raise your hand if you think, whoa, that's impossible. That's, that doesn't look right to you. All right, so, well, let's try it out. So they're saying that the eyes are one half of the way up or one half of the way down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to mimic what this uh, worksheet says by putting my eyes directly in the middle or lined up in the middle like this. So I'm going to follow the instructions here, and let's see if it's correct or not. Oh, the eye's kind of small, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I drew an eye really small. But there you go. Try my best here. And then they're saying the bottom of the face. Oh, you follow along with us. OK, and then they're saying that the bottom of the nose is halfway between the middle, uh, the midline of the eyes and the bottom of the chin. So that's why they have a line right over here. So halfway between the middle of the face and the chin, they're saying is the bottom of the nose. So let's try that. There we go. All right. Now what they're saying is halfway or one third of the way from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin is with a mouse start. That's what they're saying. Let's try that. Lucas, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. All right. Now that they're saying is that the hairline is between where the eyes start to the top of the head. So what I'm just going to do is just kind of create a line in the middle of that. There we go. And they're saying from the middle of where the hairline starts to the eyes, they're saying that's where the eyebrows are. So I'm going to draw a line right there and try to fill that in. And I would teach you guys more advanced techniques, but we're going to save that for fifth grade. 
fifth grade just did portraits about uh, three or four weeks ago. Uh, you can do this in your workbooks too if you want. If not, it's okay. It's okay just to watch for this one time. All right, so those are all the guidelines that they have in this facial proportions worksheet. So what I'm gonna do now is try to fill out where the hairline is and we'll see it's correct. Right now, it looks kind of weird, right? Especially when you look at my first drawing that I just did. So this is where I thought, I just pretend to be a fourth grader. I try to pretend like where I knew where everything was. But if I go over here and use the facial proportions that they told me to do, I put the hairline down. So I'm gonna to try to put the hairline down where they said it was. They're saying it's over here somewhere. And then I'm gonna add the ears. Here we go. I know it's kind of big. Go. I'll try to fill it out as best as I can. And then they're saying the hairs over here. Just like that. All right, so let's take a look at the two pictures I did. So here's the first, uh, here's the first one. Remember that? So that's the first one I did. So that's without using the facial proportions that they showed us. That's okay. I'm just using Sharpie because it's on video camera. And here is the second photo I just did, but using the proportion sheet. So as you can see, it looks a lot better and more realistic if you just follow along with the guidelines that they gave you. And that is just a nice start of how to do por uh, portraits a little better. So hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, we can kind of take a preview of what's going on next week. Next week, we're talking about space and positive negative space. Uh, let me see what the time is. All right, we don't really have time to go over space really. Um, so we're gonna save this page and the following page for next week. And with that said, um, is there anyone that would like to share some artwork? I think it's only fair. And I don't want you guys to be upset that um, I was able to share with the last class and not you guys. So I want to give you guys an opportunity. Um, I do, but uh, I need to go upstairs to get it. OK, we'll go back to you. Anyone ready now? Sharon, we'd like to go share, and then we'll go back to that last person. Oh, um, that's your Paris. Oh, that's a nice picture of Paris. Good job. I like the colors that you use, too. All right, uh, we can do Kira. Are you ready right now? OK, go ahead. Um, well, I made this thing with like, that's like a bunch of, I used blue and, pre and purple and pink, and then I made it like this. That was like a really cool uh, color sheet right there. Good job. All right, before I pick my next volunteer, the person that spoke first, I don't remember who it was. Uh, are you guys, are you ready now? It was Charlie. Okay, Charlie, are you ready? Where is Charlie? He's not, he's not back yet, Mr. Mel. Okay. Um, okay, who wants to go while we stay? I see Zulika's hand is up. Okay, uh, let's try Zulika. Go ahead. Come on, Charlie. Can I show my work of artwork? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm painting my, I paint my cousin up. Oh, nice. That's awesome. I see you have like some sort of anime style, which is really cool. What? Okay, um, I don't, is Charlie back yet? Where's Charlie? I don't even see him on my squares. I don't think he's back yet. I was trying Ava. Ava, sorry. Go ahead. Of course I didn't get rid of it. It's one of my favorite ones. My sister drew these three cupcakes. Oh, Shopkins, nice. They look like Shopkins, if that's what it is. Nice. All right, I'm going to pick another volunteer. Let me just mute uh, Charlie real quick. All right, who wants to go next? Uh, Kennedy, go ahead. <laughs> She's gone. Um, all right. Show of hands, who still needs to share? Anyone? All right. Uh, I like seeing their work too, Ms. Hardigan. How about Sri Lassi? You want to share real quick before Kenny gets back? I didn't realize she was going to go somewhere. Um, so I just did the can't build a soup can. Oh, nice. From the video. Cool job. Thank you. Good job. 
I had to combine the video because I was kind of curious on what was going on. I've been getting low, low views from you guys, so. All right, Kennedy's back. What do you got for us? Sorry about that. I had to grab my picture. All right, go ahead. Show us what you so got. So I drew a little husky. Oh, nice. Whoa, that has long legs. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, anyone else would like to share? Oh, I see um, Kira is holding up her Illuminate Letter project when we were learning about uh, the Book of Kells and stuff from Ireland and stuff in the video. All right, Anne, you want something to share? Um, I drew a sea serpent right here. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right, does anyone else want to share anything? I don't think Charlie's coming back anytime soon. Kellen, go ahead. Me and my brother um, made an entire book of bugs. And we drew bugs throughout the book. Better. Oh, cool. That's pretty neat. I like everyone sharing something. That's pretty awesome. I like seeing what you guys do for art when uh, it's stuff that I haven't taught you yet either. It gives me an idea of what you guys know what to do and what you guys don't know what to do. Which is pretty nice. All right, anyone else want to share before we head out? All right, I'll give Charlie more time, but I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. All right, uh, I don't see any hands up. Do you guys see any hands up? I don't see any. All right, uh, I'll see you guys uh, next week. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, 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 -